Good morning. I'm out at the beach today on Whidbey Island. I'm at Double Bluff Park. I'm going to be taking a walk along the beach. I'm going to be looking at some interesting geology up in the bluffs. So that's the bluff over there that I'm going to go look at. I'm here around 10 o'clock. The high tide for the morning was around 9 o'clock, so the tide should be going out. And the low tide today should be around 3 o'clock. So as I mentioned, I'm on Whidbey Island. It's the longest and largest island in Washington State. It's in Puget Sound, which is the third largest estuary in the U.S. behind the Chesapeake Bay, which is in Maryland, and the San Francisco Bay in California. Near the parking area, in this section of the bluff, they're able to grow trees, some evergreens, and deciduous. And I can see some of the um, layers up near the top. I have already heard some eagles. Kids like to make forts with the driftwood. And as I'm walking down the beach, I'm gonna to get to the open area where the bluff and exposed layers are. So I learned about this hike from a book called Geology Underfoot in Western Washington. It's by Dave Tucker and it really gives a lot of great information about just in general the geological history of Puget Sound and the ice sheets that were here during the glacier time um, starting maybe two million years ago. I'd recommend looking at the book for further information. Um, but there were at least six times when glaciers came from Canada down and covered the Puget Sound area and there were times in between when the glaciers went back and there was um, some vegetation and plants and all that. It was a fresh water at that time and so the layers that we're going to look at climbing up the driftwood, uh, the layers are going to be from the different times that it was covered with the glacier and then retreated and then covered with a glacier again. So, um, anyway, uh, Dave Tucker also has a website with hikes um, and explanations of the geology that you're going to find on the hikes. So, check it out. different colors. Some would have um, just sands and silts from the glacial time and some layers will have fossils from plant life and marine shells. Some of the slough off there.
On the hillside, there's not much growing, but there is a layer that has uh, some plants and grass and weeds, and I think that's a layer of peat. So that would be from the time in between glacial periods. It's kind of that dark band up there. Here we can get a pretty good look at the layers. It's really pretty flaky. Here's just a sample of all the different rocks that you're going to see along the beaches in Puget Sound. All the different colors from yellow, orange, red, green. Thanks for joining me on this beach walk today. It's really a great place to visit all year round. I'd say check the tide charts before you come out because it's gonna be a little more fun if the tide's going out or a lower tide. Anyway, see you next time.